Hello students, welcome back to all. In today's class, we are going to discuss about the formation of BCL3 molecule. So, BCL3 means boron trichloride. So, what is the structure of BCL3? And which type of hybridization will take place? Let us see. Generally, in boron, uh, so the boron trichloride, so boron is the central atom, it is undergo sp2 hybridization. So we know that the atomic number of boron is 5, configuration is 1h2, 2h2, 2px1. So this is generally ground state electronic configuration, we know. But in the first excited state, one more one electron from s orbital is excited from s orbital to p orbital. Now the excited state electronic configuration becomes 1h2, 2s1. 2p2 which means in 2s1 there is only one electron 2s1 in 2p2 means so uh, this is 2px1 one electron 2py1 one electron 2pz0 in z orbital there is no electron so like this the boron uh, outermost shell first excited state configuration so here what happening uh, sp2 hybridization will take place which means one s orbital and two p orbitals undergo hybridization so this is two s orbital two px orbital and two py orbital and finally gives sp2 hybridization so we get the total number of three sp2 new orbitals which means the three sp2 new hybrid orbitals will form and now let us see what about the chlorine atom? We know chlorine, its atomic number is 17. So it's a configuration we know that in outermost shell there is 3s2, 3p5 configuration is there. 3p5 means in 3px2, 3py2, 3pz1. Is it clear? So this is 3p, 3s2, this is 3p5. Means 3px2, 3py2, 3p z1 so here in the pz orbital it requires one more electron to get the configuration octet configuration so like this the beryllium is containing three orbitals the three unhybrid orbitals so these three hybrid orbitals will overlap axially with the three chlorine atoms and form pcl3 molecule let me explain clearly so this is the boron atom it contains three sp2 unhybrid sorry hybridized orbitals new orbitals so these are the three so this is sp2 hybrid orbital this is sp2 hybrid orbital and this is sp2 hybrid orbital now these two, uh, these three uh, hybrid orbitals is overlapping with the 3pz orbital of the chlorine atom like this. So this is 3pz, this is 3pz. So here by axial overlapping there exist three sigma bonds. Is it okay? The three sigma bonds will exist in between the sp2 hybrid orbital of the boron atom and 3pz orbital of the chlorine atom so in between the bcl3 there exist three sigma bonds so like this boron trichloride will form by sp3 sp2 hybridization and here we have to remember one more point the bond angle is 120 degree here and the structure is trigonal planar Is it clear? So like this, in the boron trichloride, the hybridization is sp2. There exist three sigma bonds between the sp2 and 3pz orbital of boron and chlorine atoms and making an angle of 120 degree and having the structure trigonal planar. So this is how the formation of boron trichloride molecule will take place. So this is today's class. Thank you.